Hey guys, listen, about 70 to 80% of the people right now that have IBS or IBD also have a condition called SIBO. And what the research is showing us is that in many cases, the reason that they have the IBS or the IBD is because they indeed have this infection. So you've got to be asking them, what is SIBO? Well, SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. What that means is that your intestines, your small intestines have become infected with this bacteria. Now we all have this bacteria in our stomachs, but what can happen to some people is that the bacteria can overtake the system and start to cause more and more health issues. Now, some of the common symptoms with SIBO are bloating. That's where people feel uncomfortable after they eat, especially within 30 minutes after eating. If somebody's getting this bloating or distension, that's a pretty significant clue. And oftentimes when we talk to these patients, we'll ask them, you know, do you feel like when you go to bed that you look about three months pregnant, but yet when you wake up in the morning, your stomach is flat again? They're like,